Hey there guys, welcome back. Hope you're all doing well. This is Chaitan here from Delcube and welcome back to a brand new Photoshop tutorial. Uh, this tutorial is going to be pretty quick. Uh, it's just a tips video. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create your own custom watermarks for your logos and designs so that people don't copy it. Um, some of some of them think it's unprofessional. Uh, I'm sorry. Some of them think it's unprofessional, and some of them are completely okay with it. They're more interested in protecting their work. So uh, either way, it's up to you. So let me just show you how to create a custom watermark. So, I'm, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to File and click on New, and I'm going to set the width and height to one. I'm sorry, uh, width to a hundred, and the height to a hundred pixels each. And uh, we're going to go ahead and let this open up, and we're going to get this small tiny box. And I'm going to press Ctrl-0, which is going to fit it to the screen. Now, as you can see, it's extremely pixelated. If I go ahead and just change the color of this background, uh, there we go. So you can see that it's completely pixelated, but that's completely okay. So what I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and bring in my logo. All right, so here you can see my logo. That's over here. And uh, yeah, okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set it to a white color by clicking on a color overlay. And uh, usually all the watermarks are, are supposed to be in white color. I mean, you can go ahead and add in the color if you want, but that's completely up to you. I'm gonna go ahead and just scale down my logo just a little bit so that, you know, it kind of, you know, looks okay. I need some place for the side over here. Um, all right, so once we have that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and uh, choose the line tool, as you can see over here. And I'm gonna go ahead and set the fill to a white color. And I'm going to go to the top and I'm going to just go ahead and create this nice rectangle. Now, yeah, that's good. That's looking good. That's just a nice rectangle. And you can go ahead and change your width and height parameters, the weight, the stroke, whatever it is. Uh, but that's completely okay. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing over here. So, yeah, there we go. Um, they're looking great. So another thing we can do is we can select both of these, press Control A. And it's going to create this rectangular selection and come here to the move tool and you can click on these two buttons and that's going to fit it straight into the center of the screen. So this is the align horizontal center and this is align the vertical centers. All right. And I'm going to press control D to deselect. Now, um, there are other things you can do is uh, now. So I can actually just go ahead and keep it up like this. Or another thing I can do is I'm going to go and actually merge these layers by right clicking and choose merge shapes. And I'm going to go ahead and choose a rasterize layer. So now we have a single object. And I'm going to press the eraser, get the eraser tool. And uh, I'm going to, ooh, that's pretty big. So I'm going to go ahead and reduce that down. So I'm using the square bracket keys to reduce that down. And I'm going to use a hard brush. And uh, yeah, and uh, get that down. And just get rid of this. We don't need that. So uh, now if, if your logo is, you know, like a square shape or a circle shape, then you don't have to do that. I just want it so that it looks nice. And another thing you can do is, oops, screen went off. Okay, another screen. We, another thing we can do is we can select the rectangular marquee tool, and I'm gonna go ahead and just just create a kind of a just a box around this. And um, I'm actually gonna go and move this up. Oops, sorry about that. We just oh, damn it, marquee tool. Let's control Z that. All right, and we can just go ahead and uh, center this down, something like that. I don't know. And then we can hit delete, and that's gonna go get rid of all this. Now, obviously, you can go ahead and shrink that down if you press Control T, Control Z that. Yeah, Control T that, and we can shrink down the marquee. Oh, that's gonna do that anyway. So we can go ahead and actually create another one, just a smaller and a simpler one. Uh, we can go ahead and bring this down and we can hit delete and we're gonna get something that that looks like this that looks pretty good and once we have your final whatever you have your final watermark you want to set it to i'm actually going to go ahead and keep it like this i like like this uh, oops so what you can do is uh select the marquee tool and go ahead and create a big box around the entire thing and then you want to go to edit and you're going to choose define pattern and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and call this watermark. But before we do that, you want to go ahead and uncheck the black background. You want a transparent background. And then we want to go to edit and choose a uh, defined pattern. And I'm gonna just going to call this watermark DC. I don't know. And then once we have that, we can go ahead and import in just a random image. So let me just show you. So here is just a random image that I have. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a new layer. And uh, I'm just going to double click on this layer and I'm going to go to pattern overlay 
and uh, the pattern overlay, I'm gonna go ahead and actually, okay, let's actually do that. Let's just add in a random color. So there we go, we have some random color, and then I'm gonna go here and then click on pa pattern overlay, and I'm gonna go ahead and choose this one that I chose, the watermark DC, 100 pixels by 100 pixels, and I'm gonna click on okay, and I'm gonna get something that looks like this. And then what you wanna do is you wanna go to the fill and set that down to zero, and we have watermark. Now the only thing we need to do is ready the opacity down to 10, and we are gonna have something that looks like this. Now, if you wanna change the settings, you can actually go and increase up the scale or decrease down the scale. I mean, that's completely up to you. Uh, snap to origin. Uh, this is where you can, okay, it's all in the presets, all right? And uh, link with layer. I don't know what that word, word that is, but, so depending on the size of whatever it is, you can go ahead and just add your own watermark and uh, that should do. So uh, that's pretty much it for this tutorial, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys really enjoyed it and really learned something. Um, feel free to mention anything in the comment section down below, any questions, requests. You can also contact me on Twitter because I'm quite active. And uh, that's it, guys. So see you guys in my next video. So till then, take care and bye-bye.